Everybody's tired of the fake. I'm on my moral high horse that these people pull and try to lecture us. And then they lie to us about everything. They've used people's good nature and good heart and good intention against them for too long. Most people care and have cared if you call them a racist. They get upset about it. We've all been called these things so much for just speaking truth of, about anything that it doesn't work anymore. Like you guys aren't going to be able to morally guilt us and use our own good hearts and good intentions and who we are against us any longer. Like you violated that. We realize it'll never stop. It'll never be enough. It'll never be something that pleases you. So you, yep. and that's where America is. What is up, guys? It's Andy Frisella, and this is the show for the realists say goodbye to the lies, the fakeness, and delusions of modern society. And welcome to reality, guys. Today we have Andy and DJ Cruise the Internet. That's what we're going to do. That's what CTI stands for. It stands for Cruise the Internet. This is where we put up topics on the screen. We speculate. This is a speculative show that can't miss, don't miss information. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We talk about what's true, we talk about what we think is not true, and then we talk about how we the people can be the solution to the problems going on in the world. Other times we have Q&AF, that's what you heard yesterday if you tuned in yesterday, that's where people can submit questions and we answer them. Now you can submit your questions a couple different ways. The first way is... Guys, you can email those questions into askandy at andyforsella.com. Or if you go on YouTube under the Q&AF episodes that air on Monday and drop your question in the comments, we'll pick some from there as well. A question could be about anything, uh, but this is an entrepreneurial-based show, business show, personal development show, success show, how to win bigger than anybody else that you know type of show. So we like those kind of questions the best. Then we have Real Talk. Real Talk's just five to 20 minutes of me sharing a lesson that I think needs to be shared or sometimes just some uh, public therapy that you get to hear it comes out of my loins. Then we have full length. Full length is, uh, we got some good plans for full length coming up, man. Mm -hmm. Full length's going to look a little different in 2024. Yeah. And uh, I think you guys are going to like it, but we're going to start bringing those back on a regular basis. Uh, and then we have 75 hard verses, and we have some good 75 hard verses episodes coming up for you towards the end of the year uh, where people who have taken on the 75 hard program and it's not a challenge it's a program and transform their lives come on and talk about how their lives were kind of shitty before and now they're not and uh if you're interested in 2024 of actually getting your shit together not just telling yourself you're going to for the 20th year in a row uh, i would encourage you to go to episode 208 on the audio feed and listen and get the 75 hard and the live hard program for free there is a book available about this on my website uh, it's not required, but uh, and it's also not free, but you can buy it. It's at andyforsella.com, and it'll give you the ins and outs of the program. And then I also, that book is going out of print, and I'm releasing a new book on January 1st this year, so keep your eye out for that. Um, we'll have an email going out for that. If you're not on the email list, you should subscribe to my daily email. It's uh, the Andy Graham, and uh, get on the list. So anyway, we got a fee for the show. The fee is very simple. Uh, you'll notice I don't run ads on the show. I finance the show myself. Um, I pay all these fine gentlemen to help me put on the show out of my own pocket. And the reason I do that is because I don't want people to tell me what the fuck I can and can't say. Uh, and I'm also not going to lie to you about products I do or do not use. If I ever did decide to do ads, it would have to be shit that I actually loved. I think you guys know that. Uh, so anyway, in exchange for that, I ask very simply that you share the show. Okay. We're getting throttled. We're getting banned. We're getting with all the time everywhere. And you guys see it. Uh, and the message doesn't get out unless you share it. So if you think, we bring a good message if it makes you think, if it makes you laugh, if it gives you a good perspective of something that you think needs to be said, which are the things that we try to say, uh, do us a solid and share the show. Don't be a hoe. Share the show. Hey, what's hey, up? What's going on, man? Oh, not much. Well, we got some interesting topics. That, uh... I got a few topics on my mind. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's get started with those. How about topic number one? Uh, quit listening to fucking idiots on the internet, okay, who do not have the life that you want. All right. I was just talking to a bunch of my friends this morning about this. There's so many people on the internet now who are talking about all these hacks and all these things that they do and all these routines and they have all these things that, you know, they're doing for themselves. And every two weeks, it's a new thing they're doing that you should do. And they're saying it with such confidence. And, you know, they've got podcast headphones and a microphone now. So that's, they must be telling the truth. Official. Listen, dude. 
99% of what you see on the fucking internet is bullshit. Okay. And most of the people that you look at and you adjust your life according to their advice, most of those people don't even live that shit in the first place themselves. All right. And certainly if their shit works so good, they wouldn't be having to uh, change it up every two weeks and tell you about the new thing they're doing. The reason they're telling you about the new thing they're doing is because A, the shit they were telling you to do that they were so confident about doesn't actually work. And B, they're trying to build a personal brand based around what's hot right now. So can we please just get a little bit more awareness before we all feel like shit because we don't live the, the, the life of wholesome or balanced or structured the way that somebody on the internet says like, dude, let's stop the shit. <laughs> like this should be common sense, but it's not common sense. Yeah. You know, I talk to so many people on a regular basis who feel like they're doing it wrong, who feel like they're fucked up, who feel like because they don't do what this person says, or, bro, if you sit there and look at what everybody's doing and you think that's, you're denying yourself your own gifts and your own identity and your own development in the first place because you're too busy trying to be like what everybody else is doing. You can't even figure out what the is going on with you. So like, dude, let's use some common sense here, okay? If they're not living the life that you want, and I mean the real life that you want. I don't mean the internet life that they tell you they have. I mean the real life. They're not living that life stop listening to them. If they don't have that area of expertise figured out, the one they're trying to teach you, don't listen to them and pay attention. Okay. A lot of this shit is flash marketing bullshit. And I see so many people and talk to so many people who feel like they're ruining their lives because of the information on the internet, the information overload on the internet coming from that don't have it figured out. Okay. No, none of these people have it figured out guys. There's nobody that has it figured out. Okay, I don't even have it figured out. I got little parts of it figured out, but let's let's fucking like look at this, okay? And stop driving ourselves crazy and start listening to people who whose lives we want, not these people who pretend on the internet. I mean, holy f dude. It's like common sense, man, and it's like the, a disease. So that's topic number 1. Yeah. You know, topic number 2. I love how many of these fat, disgusting, lazy, jobless men I go out here on the internet and dog single mothers. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, that new, that's, that's, that's a new a, thing. The new thing, thing yeah. is to dog out single moms, bro, and say they're worthless and they they have no value. Yeah. And, you know, they're a low value woman because they have a previous relationship and have children with a, with a, a I, listen, that is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Okay. And most of the men saying this shit are fucking low life pieces of shit. All right. And I, that's just, these are just two things that I notice on the internet more and more and more that bother me. Yep. Like this. Dude, my mom's awesome, bro. Dude, listen, dude. Because they talk about these, these high, high, this high value man shit, right? Like, it just went too far. Which, dude, thing. it is yeah. true. Yeah. Like, you should work to be a high value man. <clears throat> but, like, most of the men I see saying this dumb shit, they're not, they're not even high value. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, those, they don't, they're, they're, all, they're also podcasters who have the head. Yeah, issues. yeah, it's the same it's people. I just guys. killed two, two Super with one stone, you yeah. know. But yeah. like, dude, uh, I get so tired of the judgment on the internet as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just everything is judged to this maximum degree. Nobody can be, you know, just normal. Yeah, like just be cool, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I agree, man. It's like you you have to be it's either gonna go extreme extreme this way or extreme this way. It's like, I saw this meme today and, and it um so I was actually I was looking at Sean Whalen's story and somebody had asked him in his uh in his story, this she said, I'm a single mother and I feel like nobody ha nobody sees any value in me and I don't have any value because of they're all they're talking about is high value women. Like, dude, I think that's up that mm -hmm. the internet makes people feel that way like you feel like because you had a relationship earlier in life now you're like some sort of like trash Damned. yeah it's yeah. bullshit and it's by a bunch of dudes who are literally hunks of shit themselves who can't pay their own bills who are fat as fuck, who don't like stand for anything they go you know what i'm saying yeah. like let's let's look at ourselves before we start pointing the finger at who's got value and who does anybody that's my point yeah. that's all i'm saying yeah. i just think it's I think the internet has become this pretty disgusting as a whole. Yeah. So.
that's my talk. No, I, those I, are I, topics one and two. Yeah, I like it. Let's get to topic three. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, real quick, man. Before we get to our main headline, guys, I wanted to. to We're gonna jump start in. this on a regular, bro. Where I just start the things that are yeah. bothering me of the day. Yeah. Where it's gonna be like Andy's therapy for the day. Andy's hot topics. Yes. So those are my two for today. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, but before we get to our main headlines, let's check in with uh, Vivek, man. Yep. Yep. He's uh he's on a tear, <laughs> bro. He don't give a f- bro. This guy's a riot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> headline reads: Vivek Ramaswamy tells CNN Van Jones just shut the f- up at Turning Point USA America Fest. Uh, so presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy suggested Sunday that CNN commentator Van Jones should quote shut just shut the f- up in response to Jones labeling the brash Republican a demagogue earlier this month. Ramaswamy, who is vying for the GOP nomination for president in 2024, offered the brash suggestion for the cable news personality after Jones said on air he was, quote, shaking during the fourth GOP debate when Ramaswamy spoke because he felt like he was just watching the rise of an American demagogue. Well, he ain't never seen my shit then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tune in really <laughs> on Tuesdays and Fridays. Let's send him a fucking tape. <laughs> no, so... So let's watch the video of, of Van Jones. Let's send him a uh, tape. Listen to how old I am, man. Yeah. F- we'll send you a VHS. <laughs> <laughs> so let's What's wrong watch, with me, dude? Let's watch Jones' uh, commentary. Here he goes. In the smug, condescending way that he just spews <laughs> this poison out is very, very dangerous because he won't stop Trump, but he's going to outlive Trump by about 50 years. And you're watching the rise of an American demagogue that is a very, very despicable person. Yeah. And I, I'm, I literally, I, I, was, I was shaking listening to him talk because <laughs> a lot of people don't know that is one step away from Nazi propaganda coming out of his mouth. Bro, first of all, <laughs> listen to this motherfucker. This guy said the most fucked up shit out of anybody for the last fucking four or five years. Here's the real story. You're shitting your pants, bro, because you're real close to accountability for what you've done. They go first. Yeah. They go first. So, so let's, let's watch Vivek's, Vivek's comments. Here, here's Vivek's. And then you get the mainstream media. You got this character Van Jones on CNN afterwards saying, this is the rise of an American demagogue who's going to live 50 years longer than Trump. This is dangerous. I am shaking. That's what he says. <laughs> Just shut the f*** up. <laughs> At a certain point. Bro, crowd goes shut wild. The f- yeah, because we're all sick of it, dude. Van Jones at CNN. We're done with it. I, I think he's speaking the people's language. Yeah. Dude, I, I, listen, he, he's, he's on to something here. He's on to something. Is he on to something or are we on to something that he got well, on to? I mean, he definitely listened to Real AF for sure. Bro, they're all on it. They're, they're, I mean, it's Listen, a bro. beautiful thing. I know. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful I thing. I get to set all this influence and take none of the flack. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro, here's the thing. <laughs> fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck Okay? Him. Like, dude, we're sick of your shit, dude. We're sick of you guys standing on national television on your moral high horse and trying to lecture us about all these things that we are that you apparently aren't. Bro, I've seen this dude say so much racist shit on the on TV. It's insane. Yep. You know, like we could go on and on and on. Dude, people are tired of this fake proper shit. You know, like, oh, like the fake thing was events, fake outrage, yes. fake f-ing tears, fake f- bullshit. Pose photos at the border, right? For AOC. All, whose name is fing Van? Like who That's a made up fing name, bro. Like, who the f- names their child Van? Well, I mean, look, we could have a f-ing long discussion about the n- names of black people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's be real. I don't know. Th- I don't know that Van's the worst I've ever heard. Yeah, man, okay, yeah. but yeah. it sounds like a white dude name. If we're being honest, I mean... all right. But second of all, what? <laughs> Listen, we tell the truth here, man. That's not racist. I'm just saying, well, black people have a clearly different way of picking names than f-ing other people. Yeah, my name's Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy is a white Chevelle, name. Yeah. She- Chevy Chase. That's a white name. Chevy Chase. Yeah, he's an actor. Chevelle. I know Lexus is a big one. We we have a big. I don't know, bro. Some of these suburban moms are getting competitive, yeah, though. They are. You know what I'm saying? Are. Like Braxton with three X's and mm-hmm. shit. You know, with yeah. his own OnlyFans. You know, like dude. Yeah. These these I don't know. Anyway. 
<laughs> but Vivek's on to something. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, just shut the f*** up. Hey, man, all I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We are tired of it. Mm-hmm. Everybody's tired of it. Everybody's tired of the fake, I'm on my moral high horse bullshit that these people pull and try to lecture us, and then they lie to us about everything, and it's clear that they're lying to us about everything. Like, dude, they've lost all credibility. This this ability to morally position yourself in a higher place and talk down to us is fucking over, bro. It's over. Van, you're a it's over. You're a You've lost. Commentator, they bro. listen. They've used people's good nature and good heart and good intention against them for too long. Most people care and have cared if you call them a racist. They get upset about it. They're like, I'm not a fucking racist. I'm a I'm just a normal dude. Yep. Right? Or any of these names, misogynist and xenophobe, and transphobe, right? Like we've all been called these things so much for just speaking truth of about anything that it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Like you guys aren't going to be able to morally guilt us and use our own good hearts and good intentions and who we are against us any longer. Like you violated that. We realize it'll never stop. It'll never be enough. It'll never be something that pleases you. So you, and that's where America is. And like, dude, these people turn around and then promote their own versions of racism and their own versions of perversion. And, you know, like, you know, talking about decency, right? Like that was something I saw this weekend, everybody going off on the internet about Joe Biden's tweet saying decency is on the ballot. Oh, you got that? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. All right, good. Because I got a lot to say about that. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, well, let's Anyway, how about this? F*** Van Jones. Yeah, f*** you, Van. Van. You should have got a cooler name, bro. Yeah. Like, douchebag. Well, yeah. Yeah. Astro Vans are cool, though. Like Like a 98 Astro Van. This is where you insert the crickets. <laughs> yeah, this is where you put the crickets in. Bro, right? a 98 yeah. Astro van, bro, with the fucking, like, the shag carpet cool, and shit. Cool, cool to... Bro, that's bad. First of all, you're like 20 years off the mark. If we're talking like a 70s van okay. with shag carpet, yeah, that's yeah, that, not... That's cool, too. Yeah. But this van sucks ass. Yeah. Yeah. Probably literally, too. Probably, yeah, probably... That probably ain't the only thing he sucks. <laughs> yeah, he got, he, Not that there's anything wrong I with bet that. He's got some shag carpet, you know. <laughs> Listen, we're just <laughs> Yeah. Listen, we're just assholes over here. I f- can't stand these people. Yeah, dude. I can't stand getting lectured by these people. Like who the f are you guys? Yeah. Whatever. Yep. Well, guys, let's get into our headlines. Remember, if you want to see any of these pictures, articles, links, videos. I was shaking. Yeah, shaking. <laughs> shaking. That's what every fucking... that ass that's, in the van. Dude, <laughs> that's what every fucking one of these people says when they get pissed off on the internet. They say the same, like, three things. Mm-hmm. First off, they disagree with what you say. They say, yikes. Yikes. <laughs> yikes. Yikes what, motherfucker? You fucking saw what I said. You heard what I said. You read what I said. Y- yikes yourself right out the door man go follow somebody else secondly they say this shit uh i'm so upset with this i'm no the next one is i'm so disappointed that's where the next one goes and then it goes i'm so upset i'm literally shaking shaking. it's like jesus christ you guys you guys got issues man this is the internet (laughs) you know what i'm saying like the internet makes you shake yeah i guess so man I guess so. Well, guys, remember, if you want to see any of these pictures, articles, links, videos, go to andyforseller.com. You can find them linked there. And uh, if you don't want to miss any of this information, make sure you guys are subscribed and uh, click them bell notifications. So let's get into our first headline. Headline number one. Democrat oh. Senator Free... <laughs> oh, shit, <okay. laughs> Democrat Senator Fire Staffer who filmed gay sex escapade in hearing room. I'm surprised they didn't give him a medal. I thought he would have, been, yeah, I mean, he would have been promoted. Because he's so oppressed. Dude. Well, you know, he can't he, have sex in the Senate. He's playing that game right now. Oh, he is? Oh, he is playing that game. You guys right won't now. let me take an ass right there on the Senate floor, man. You're homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> Listen, dude, these people belong in an insane asylum, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who the f- does that? So, dude, it's 
fucked up, man. <laughs> it's fucked up. Come on. You could have did it anywhere, bro. Like, bro, that'd be like somebody be like somebody getting caught making a porn right there on the fucking table, and then like me being like, "Hey, bro, uh, sorry, you're fired." And they'd be like, "You're fucking, you're you, what? Yeah, like what the f- dude? You can't just do this shit, bro." <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, man. This is bad. I haven't followed through on the story, bro, because like I I've been busy. Yeah, and I got so tired of seeing a picture of him. Like, <laughs> you know, Wait, like what, what was he doing? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I got so tired of seeing it, bro. I didn't even look into it. Yeah, oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. So the congressional staffer who appeared in a gay pornographic film um, gets an award. <laughs> <laughs> that would be appropriate. Van Jones would write that'd be the headline. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Inclusivity in the Senate hearing rooms. Um, so Senator Ben Cardins, who's a Democrat out of Maryland, uh, his office released a statement Saturday that Aiden Macy uh, Chaporsky is no longer employed by the U.S. Senate. <laughs> Quote, we will have no further comment on this personnel matter. You mean person personal? Oh, man. Damn, I'm not, it's not hitting. Damn. Yeah, you ain't hitting shit today, bro. Damn. You should stop swaying. Fuck. <laughs> well, listen, you know, it's like baseball, bro. You know. Yeah, you gotta go up there and swing until you, you hit keep, something. Keep fucking swinging. All right, I'll, I'll hit something. Um, so the gra- graphic video that led in, uh, led to the firing first released in a bombshell report from the Daily Caller sent shockwaves throughout Washington. Uh, the leaked video footage shows a congressional staffer later identified as Maisie Kaporsky having anal sex with an unknown man on a table in the Senate hearing room where senators often sit to ask questions during hearings. Before his firing was made public, Maisie Kaporsky uh, posted a statement on his LinkedIn profile. Quote, this has been a difficult time for me as I have been attacked for who I love to pursue a political agenda. He remarkably claimed, while some of my actions in the past have shown poor judgment, I love my job and would never disrespect my workplace. Any attempts to characterize my actions otherwise are fabricated, he continued, and I will be exploring what legal options are available to me in these matters. Wait. Yeah. You're not being attacked for who you love or how you like to love them. (laughs) You're being attacked for holding your asshole wide open (laughs) on the fucking United States Senate floor, motherfucker. Like, you're, 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 (laughs) no one gives a who you love and no one gives a f- how you just do that shit somewhere yeah else, man holy shit we don't want it this is what these people don't f-ing understand bro like dude you don't see oh dude <laughs> i'm tired ty- people are tired of having to f-ing accommodate this insane this insanity legal options <sighs> your legal options are to shut the f- up bro and probably for your own inter- interest because no one else gonna hire you ever again no Here's the move. I'll, I'll save you all these fucking, uh, attorney's fees. Mother. Stop spreading your asshole on the Senate floor <laughs> or at any workplace of any sort. Okay. And if you do, don't take pictures of it. Bro. Third of all, um, stop being shut fucking the f- nasty. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking nasty. shut the f- up so that people will forget about it so that maybe you could be employable. At some point in your life, which is not going to be soon. Okay. So that's your legal advice. Send me my fucking 50 grand that they're going to charge you for that shit. And we'll call it a day. In fact, you don't have to send it to me. Just stop doing this shit. (laughs) I'll give you the fucking five finger discount today only. (laughs) But you need 10. (laughs) Dude, I can't stand this shit anymore. I can't stand it anymore, DJ. Oh, man. I'm at my limit, Joe. I mean, listen, the video, the guy, I mean, listen. Eh. Oh, there was a video? Oh, yeah. Like an actual, like the, the actual video went out? Oh, the actual video. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. You want to see it? No. Not at all. I had to watch it for research purposes, obviously. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I see, there's so, and there must be, it must be out there because I see everybody making fun of all the conservative influencers for posting it. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I mean, even what's the name? Like, uh, who is that that, uh, what's, what's the guy's name in the wheelchair? They got got out. Madison Cawthorn. Car- yeah, him. Like yeah. he he made us. He was like, I told you guys, or he said something like that because he's like, dude. Like, oh yeah, because he got kicked out for talking about that. Yeah, he these got black- people do fing weird orgies and shit. Yeah, all throughout the the bro. Yeah, he did say that. The least of the I worries. Forgot about is a f-ing insurrection. 
Okay. With no guns. They're worried about erections is yeah. what they're dealing with in there. Um, 100%. But I thought this would be a good time to kind of do like a little review of the Biden pres- presidency. Um, so for the adults in charge, here are the top nine degenerate Democrat scandals under Joe Biden. Don't forget. Decency is on the ballot. It's on the ballot, bro. It's on the ballot. So after Joe Biden was elected to the White House, Democrat pundits held the return of quote unquote adults in charge in Washington. So let's let's so let's look. We got buttholes in the Senate, right? Uh, number two, we got porn webcam Democrat Virginia Senate candidate Susanna Gibson um, did huh. a sex tape that got leaked. Uh, you had the bag of cocaine in in the White House. Um, you had that. You had the the trans influencer flash uh, the knockers on the White House lawn during the picnic. Uh, the drag queen uh, recruited from the Navy. That's coming in at number five. You got uh, the Democrat mayor who was arrested on child porn related charges. Pretty decent. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of decency here, bro. Um, you had the non-binary Biden senior official and BDSM practitioner caught stealing luggage. That Sam Brinkman guy. You remember that? Yep. Uh, the colonel, army ar- ar- army colonel exposed in the pup play. Took the picture with the puppy mask on. What the f*** are we doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Cuomo's allegations, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the polls, well, they, look, they look terrible. Bi- Biden's still insisting that everything's fine. You're reading the polls wrong. <laughs> That's literally Dude, this is where they've gotten to now. Yeah. Now they're telling you that you don't know how to, you you don't know what. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> you f***er. <laughs> you don't know. Listen, you people are so stupid. You don't even know your own f***ing finances. No. You don't know that you have less money than you ever had. You don't know that it's harder to survive than it's ever been. You're a f***ing peasant idiot and you need to shut the f*** up. The economy's great. That is the message that these people are sending. That's where they're sending. You don't know how to read the polls. Trump is losing. Yep. Trump cannot lose. Trump cannot win a general election. We we don't even have to campaign. We could do it from the basement. Eighty one people voted for us, except no one in the real world that we can ever f-ing find voted for you. Your rallies were at a fucking parking lot with twelve cars because of COVID. You stayed in the basement for an entire year while another dude drew. 100,000 people the 30 days leading up to the election in a different place of the country every single f-ing day, okay? So when you start to stop and think about how stupid they think that you actually are and how much they do not give a f- if you don't like what they're doing, pay attention to that shit. Like, think of them telling these people, Bidenomics is working, you're too stupid to understand it, when they can't pay their f-ing bills, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Up is down. <laughs> Believe it. Dude, these people, listen, there's a reckoning coming. There's a reckoning coming. Don't give me one, one, way, one way or another, these people will be held accountable. I'm 100% confident of it. People are not going to allow these f-ing disgusting, morally corrupt f-ks to destroy everything in our f-ing country for very much longer. It's not going to happen, dude. You can f- see it on the faces of people. Dude. I had a dude recently deliver something to my house, okay? And I was wearing this hat. He didn't know who I was. And he was asking about the hat. And he's like, so you like Trump? And I'm like, define like Trump. I'm like, I like the way my fucking bank account. I like the way this. I like the way that. He's like, I fucking love him. He's like, I'm so fucking, like he went on this 20 minute tirade about how he's so fucking tired of, and he works at Amazon, so fucking tired of all this shit going on in the world and being lied to people are pissed people over bro people are pissed you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter if you like someone what matters is the job that they fucking do mm-hmm. and how it affects you you know this all oh, i like that's is a, what's yeah. gotten us here that's a you problem yeah <laughs> Give a f- i don't like dude I like my i'm not one of those it. people like dude i'm a competitive person like i want to win more than anything yeah i'm not one of those people that had like any team i've ever been on i didn't have to like the coach that wasn't required for me i didn't even have to like the people i play with that's not required for me either i just gotta like that they want to win as much as i want to win like that's that's it dude these people all the matter yeah this whole thing with like i like this guy so you like someone so little that you're willing to sacrifice your own livelihood and your own existence and your own quality of life that's yeah I mean, it's insane. It's, fun. That it's makes stupid. Sense. It's a low, low IQ fucking thought. 
Yeah. Guys, tell us what you guys think on this conversation. Let us know down in the comments. Hashtag bring back decency. And let us know what you guys think. Decency is on the ballot. It is. Yeah, it absolutely is. But uh, with that being said, man. That's right, it is. It is. That's it is. right, it is. No, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, man, let's keep this cruise moving. We got cruise the comments. Uh, this cruise, the comment uh, comes from D Moore MT. Uh, he says, I always listen to this during my AM lift. Y'all get me fired up. I'm handing out wholesale f- use today. Keep the truth coming, guys. Real AF is true AF. Hey, here's some business advice. You don't wholesale f- you. It's rare. You charge a premium for that uh, shit. A premium product. Yeah. <laughs> now, when everybody f- shipping, though. Now, when everybody's doing f- you, you can wholesale it. All right. But right now, it's still a premium, so stop giving it away. Free shipping or no? Uh, depends. <laughs> Pets. I fucking love it though, man. Yeah. Dude, I, I really do like there is something to be said about the the that 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 feeling inside a culture that's coming back with the fuck you yeah. body, bro. Dude, it's great because that's how it's supposed to be. I don't give a f- look, bro. Here's what it comes down to. And this is a good lesson, not just for our country and our culture, but also as a person. Okay. When you dictate who you are and how you feel based on someone else's opinion of you, you are always going to have anxiety. You are always going to have stress. Part of the reason that depression and anxiety are so prevalent in society is because people are so afraid to be who they actually are and say what they actually feel and tell what they actually observe to be true because they're afraid of judgment. Everybody out here is walking around on eggshells because of a a small percentage of assholes who have figured out that if they leverage our own guilt against us and call us names that we will be like oh no, 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 and give them the power that time is over we're not giving you the power anymore so it is time for you and the reason it feels so good when people say you is because we haven't had that in like a decade but that attitude is what america has been founded on i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do me the way i feel is best for me and my family and i'm gonna speak the truth i'm gonna say what i observe i'm gonna say and if i'm wrong i say i'm wrong but at the end of the day i'm not this or that or this just because you don't agree with whatever i say some things are facts some things are actually things that should be talked about so we can solve the problems i mean dude there's so much into this why everybody feels this way and the reality is at the end of the day if you say you (laughs) it's like the best therapy you could get you know what i'm saying like (laughs) a you a day keeps the liberals away that's right you a day keeps you sane too bro (laughs) like a lot of the reason people feel so bad about themselves is because they take all this shit from people they should be taking it from yeah that's a fact yeah like pretending look dude i'm not pretending i will not pretend i'm not pretending i'm not going to pretend that a man is a a woman and a woman is a man i'm not doing it it's not going to happen i'm not doing it and and if you want to call me whatever names you want i don't give a because at the end of the day, that's my assessment of my own value and integrity as a human being. I can't respect myself lying because it makes you feel better. Right. Okay, so that's not just an innocent, polite, courtesy thing. It's actually something that makes me discredit myself on the inside by admitting something that isn't actually true. Okay, and then on top of it, I'm reinforcing to these other people that if they bitch and cry and attack people enough, they get their way, which is why we have the problem that we've had in this country. So the reality is, is if you want to feel good about yourself, be honest, say what you know, tell the truth. And if people don't like it, don't give a f- That's real shit. That's it. You'll feel a lot better, dude. You won't need all this f- 47 yeah. morning routine shit because you're going to be like, yeah, well, it is what it is. I don't give a f-. And send the hearing rooms and in the yeah. shit. Dude, f- <laughs> I'm done f***ing around Like we're Real AF's gonna get real real Like real real Like when we first started it bro We were kind of being polite You know I was kind of like Alright this is the truth guys But we have to look at it this No f*** that And f*** these people That's how I feel well, It makes me feel man. better We appreciate you D more. Yeah Appreciate you Remember Fuse are at a premium still It's still a premium Yes we Appreciate all you guys For being real ass fans man Let's get back into this cruise We got headline number two Headline number two reads, Wilmington driver 46 who smashed into Biden's motorcade is charged with DUI as cops say he accidentally plowed into president's car. Did you see that? I I Kinda did. brushed but, over it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good story, man. So the driver who smashed into Biden's motorcade in Wilmington, Delaware last night has been charged with driving under the influence. James Cooper, 46, 
was charged last night with driving under the influence after smashing into an SUV that was part of the president's motorcade. Cooper was seen holding his hands up at the wheel with Secret Service agents surrounding his vehicle last night. He was released from custody shortly after the incident um, and has been issued a summons to appear in in court at a later date. President Biden, who saw the crash unfold, was rushed into an armored SUV. A Wilmington Police Department spokesperson uh, told Daily Mail this morning, quote, following our investigation, Wilmington police have determined that this was an accidental collision and have charged the driver of the striking vehicle, a 46-year-old Wilmington man with driving under the influence of alcohol and inattentive driving. Uh, Biden and Bill... <laughs> Biden and First Lady Jill Biden were leaving the campaign HQ where they had just enjoyed a spaghetti dinner with his team. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> like his brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking mush. Here's a video. Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? The wrong poll. Bro, he saw his life. He, he he thought I was going down. Just look at his face again. Look at his face. Bro. Let's go back. Hold on. Yeah, he was shocked. The wrong pole. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he shorted a little bit. <laughs> Bro, imagine legitimately being the president, oh. the least popular president in history, because you're a fucking sellout. You sold your own people out. You sold your own people out, bro. He's going to hell. <laughs> you know, no, he really is. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But here's my question. So so the driver, uh, this is James Cooper here. Yeah, he looks scared shitless. My my question is, how do they ID him? Yeah, because they can't. They can't say black guy. They can't say it. Bro, no, they can't get IDs, bro. What do you mean? He ain't even supposed to be driving. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. I didn't think about that. Shit, dude. They probably think he, you know... I bet they're confused. <laughs> yeah. I bet they're confused. They're going to be mad as hell. They're probably you know? trying to figure out how he even learned how to operate the car. Bro, that's that's probably what he was so surprised. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But real talk, let's be real. <laughs> let's say you're out. You're, you go to the f***ing bar, bro. Let, let's just say this. Like, talk about bad f***ing shit. Uh-huh. Okay? Let's just say you and me went to the f***ing bar, bro, and we each had a few beers, right? True. And we decided to drive home. Mm-hmm. All right. Terrible he, decision, he, by the way. Yeah, terrible decision. You should never do that. And real talk, I've done that in my life before, and I don't do it anymore. I don't really drink anymore. And that's, but I'm just saying, let's just say, because mm-hmm. I've done that before. Shits and giggles. Sure. Right. You f- leave the bar, bro, and you, you don't just hit a car. You don't, like, get pulled over and get it. T- you run into the presidential f- <laughs> motorcade <laughs> of the united states like holy shit man like you can see it on his face yeah, too bro. he's like i'm done I'm it's over done. Dude, right now he is like that dude is for sure he's like i'm it's my life is over yeah, they're gonna yeah, kill yeah, me yep. yeah 100 percent. he looks scared as shit. He's a hero for what I, I mean i think he's a hero bro oh you think he's a you think he's oh you oh really maybe i think he could have been a hero <laughs> Hey, he could <laughs> he definitely could have been a lot more popular. I'm saying had he had man. some better aim. I'm saying. You know, but here's yeah. here's look, here's the part that nobody's talking about, all right? And I know for a fact the Secret Service is pissed right now. Cause I know for a fact that motherfucker ain't got no insurance and that car ain't ain't got no right tags, bro. That shit expired. I guarantee it. I got no comment. Guarantee it. That's racial profiling. Yep. He used to be a cop. That that's called evidence based uh Conclusions. I'm, I'm not qualified to speak on that. But <laughs> bullshit. <yeah. laughs> that motherfucker. I did, listen. I I had to pull up the demographics, bro. I didn't even think black people lived in Wilmington. Never, never. I really didn't. It's like half of them. Uh, what do you mean half? Half the black people live in Wilmington? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. It's like 53 percent black, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. That was shocking. It doesn't sound like a black place. It does, bro. It does. I agree with that. It doesn't. I mean, you say St. Louis, you all say right. Detroit. Yeah, right. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. We know, we know what it is. Where it's you all from? good too. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely think white people. One hundred percent, bro. For sure. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well. Bro, like- <laughs> 
Yeah, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. His middle name. His middle name is Van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, tell us what you guys think on this conversation. Let us know your thoughts and theories down in the comments. Hashtag Free My Boy Cooper. Let's swap him with Van. Yeah. I, uh, we'll Let's free Cooper. Yeah, we'll trade. Trade. Van goes in. Cooper comes out. I'm with it. All right. <clears throat> I'm with it. Guys, our third and final headline. Headline number three. Headline number three reads, U.S. to suspend rail operations on the southern border due to migrant surge. Um, so this is CNN. And, of course, you know, they fudge the numbers, but that's okay, guys, because I got you. We got the real facts and data here for you. Um, but U.S. Customs and Border Protection will temporarily suspend operations at the International Railway Crossing uh, Bridges in Eagle Pass in El Paso, Texas, due to a surge in border crossings by migrants the agency announced in a news release Sunday. The CPB said the operational closures to redirect personnel to process migrants will start Monday. Quote, CPB will continue to prioritize our border security missions as necessary in response to this evolving situation, the agency said. Um, now, border authorities apprehended nearly 3,000 migrants in Del Rio, Texas, and around 1,300 migrants in El Paso on Sunday, straining federal resources, according to the Homeland Security official. Eagle Pass is in the Del Rio Border Patrol sector. In the past few weeks, the Biden administration has closed ports of entry to either vehicular or pedestrian crossings in Eagle Pass, Texas, Lukeville, Arizona, and San Yasardo, California, CNN previously reported. Now, this is what they're not, this is, this is what they're f***ing up. So, they're saying that in the first 14 days of December, more than 37,000 migrants were apprehended in the Tucson border uh, patrol sector alone, which includes Lukeville, according to John uh, Modlin, the sector's chief patrol agent. Now, you hear that number, you're like, oh, all right. So they are apprehending people. They are arresting people. But here's the facts for you guys. If we go to this, uh, this, this uh, evidence-based assessment of what's going on on the border that was just updated and released... Um, just in this fiscal year alone, there's been 2.5 million, million encounters of migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. 2.5 million. In 2023. Just in 2023. That's insane. And, and they're happy with 37,000 in the first two weeks. Bro, that's fucking nothing. It's an invasion, man. It's nothing. It's an invasion. They're not even trying to stop it. They're not trying to. No. no. But well, there are some changes though. So let's let's talk Listen, about this. We have to remember that this is intentional. Mm -hmm. You have you have the state of Arizona, Katie Hobbs, mm -hmm. who, in my opinion, shouldn't even be the, in the in the position of power that she's in, saying that what they're doing is fucked up. Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of that, she just she uh -huh. just ordered her national guard. Oh, that's why. Okay. To, to go to yeah. state's border. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, that's what like. <clears throat> It's getting to a point where, like, it's, it's even those who are on their team trying to play ball, it's, it's getting to the point where it's impossible for them to... Why do you think that is? I don't know. I, I mean, think I know. They're like the citizens outcry? Yeah, I think what we're seeing is there's... I think what we're seeing is the end of, the end of ignorance and the beginning of awareness for mm -hmm. people who thought they were on this team yeah. who are no longer on that team. People who are truly the of the democratic mindset or even progressive mindset who are not in on the plan so to speak are now waking up and saying holy shit yeah. this isn't just this this is this other thing yeah. which is a planned destruction of our country and so i think what we're seeing here when we see people like hobbs and these other democrats speak out against the biden administration is not just the biden administration being abandoned i think it's bigger than that i think mm -hmm. it's they understand that what's happening is happening intentionally and they don't want to be a part of it because they understand what that is. And yeah. what that is, is treason. Could, do, you, do you think it, part of that? Cause I see, I feel like with Hobbs that her situation might be even different than that, bro. I think what she realizes is that uh, accountability is coming. And yeah. I think what she's seeing is that like the end, like, like the, the public's acceptance of these countless lies, the destruction of our country, our, our economy, right? Like, she's realizing that she's on the losing side, that she's I think a lot of, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, she was leveraged to be there. I mean, dude, she stole, their, she stole her election from- I think from, a lot of these people from, are realizing from what From Carrie Lake, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So it's 100%. Like, okay, well, here's my opportunity to jump ship, 
You know what I'm saying? And they'll, they'll welcome me with open arms. Let me just. Maybe. Yeah, it's my only this. chance. Yeah. We're going to see this, right? Like, the rats always jump off the ship when they realize it's actually going to sink. Yeah. So. And I think it's going to be a lot more than, I mean. I agree. And I think the only way to, to, to truly tell if that's, like, how true that statement I just made was or is, is going to is going to see how the how they react to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the Biden administration does to her. Uh in response, you know what I'm saying? Like, will they throw her under the bus? You know what I'm of saying? Of course. Oh, yeah. the election was actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what, what's going to happen? That or, you know, their typical playbook, which is some sort of blackmail or some sort of, like, shit from Scandal. the past. Yes, right. One exactly. of her staffers might get buffed or something. Something, yeah. 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 Or, you know, whatever she's done in her past, them letting that come to the surface. Yeah. You know, that's what these people are going to, you're going to start seeing. You're going to see people jump off the ship, and then the people who jump off the ship, they're going to start being made to look like, they're these corrupt, you know, and they are, but mm-hmm. all of their dirt that was previously hidden by the winning side is now going to be exposed. Yeah. One hundred percent, man. The other cool thing about this this But I also thing. think that what you're saying is true. I think that those people probably realize that there's going to be actual real accountability and they're yeah. like, Okay, I can either be embarrassed and say I stood up against this, or I can deal with whatever the repercussions are of being a part of it, which, you know, by all appearances, it seems to be treason, mm-hmm. and uh, treason is traditionally punished by death, eventually. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, I mean, here's one of the other cool things that 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 are happening and spinning up right now, and we've talked about this on the show many times. Um, you know, and, and I believe the direct quote, and we have to find the episode, but um, you know, we talked like, man, where are the where are the people that live in these places? Why are they not standing up? Right? Like, where are the the people of Texas not standing up and securing their own border? Like, where? And and we're finally starting to see some of that. This headline comes out as border extremism goes mainstream. Vigilante groups take a starring role. Um, so this article just came out. And there's now a bunch of groups that have spun up along the border in different locations in Texas, some in Arizona, um, some even in Florida, that are now standing up and trying to take back their communities. Um, uh, this article is kind of, you know, it's weirdly written, but... Um, I'll just read a, a little bit of it. Uh, it starts off saying the border wall arches over the steep slopes of the Sonoran Desert, a vast row of brown steel slats jump, uh, jutting up from the rugged terrain, rippling with heat in the afternoon sun. A man dressed head to toe in camouflage and carrying an AR style rifle huffs and puffs his way up one hill and scans the horizon. Over the radio, his comrades in Arizona border recon, a civilian patrol group report finding 31 migrants near a spot where they uh, where the wall abruptly ends. The remote area west of Nogales, Arizona, called the California Gulch, is where fencing built during the Trump era gives way to miles of open but unforgiving wilderness. Um, and she's talking about this gentleman here. He's leading uh, this gentleman here. His name is uh, Tim Foley is his name. He's 64 years old, and he's leading this, uh, this group of uh, civilian patrols, vigilante patrolmen. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he's, he's going through it. He has, his guys are all well supplied and resourced and, um, they're starting to take back their own little communities, man. Um, in Texas, this headline reads, uh, Texas will begin arresting migrants under law. Governor Greg Abbott is expected to sign Monday, which is today is the time of recording. So, um, Texas will begin authorizing state and local police to arrest migrants believed to be in the state illegally and granting state judges the power to order them to return to Mexico under a new law. Governor Greg Abbott is expected to sign Monday in Brownsville. So this, it appears to be some things changing. Personally, I feel like this, this law or whatever he's trying to trying to sign today is about two years too late. Of course, um, it is. but it's a great start. <clears throat> I mean, you know, you could have been doing this instead of busting them further into our country. No shit. But anyway, what do you got on this? I don't know. I think it appears to be what you're saying. I think what we're seeing is a response to them actually identifying what the public temperature really is and understanding that the public temperature is infuriating, infuriated or whatever, however we want to say that at what's happening. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's a it's a rat's jumping off the ship as opposed to taking a stand when a stand needed to be taken. And while I agree that these are moves that should be made, these are moves that should have been made a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why they weren't other than these people are part of the plan or part of, and, and, and now they're trying to save their ass. Yeah. 
you know, I yeah. don't know. I thought this was a, a pretty interesting um, stat here. If you guys look at this chart, if you're watching on YouTube, check this out. Um, this is basically showing uh, the migrant encounters at and between ports of entry by country of origin. So where these illegal migrants are coming from. In 2020, it was roughly about 11 and 12 percent of migrants that were coming in were from other countries, right? The vast majority, almost 90 percent, were either from Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, or Honduras. And you jump to 2023, where now almost half of these migrants that are coming across illegally are from other countries, um, and less than 50 percent are from Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, or Honduras. Just some interesting numbers, man. Just to look at the transition here, and you can't. Like, I, I don't feel like I don't know anybody that couldn't look at this and see. Well, no, what you're saying, what 2023 actually says is that more than half of them are from other countries. Less than half are from, of the total whole of 100% right. of encounters are from Mexico, El Salvador. So Mexican, Mexican, El Salvadorian, Guatemalan, Honduras, immigrant Re- migrants. Represent less than half of the Yeah, it's on, a, it's on a massive decline. Yeah. Massive decline in all these other yeah, countries. Listen, it's an invasion, dude. You can't tell me otherwise. No, bro. it's an invasion. It's fucking happening. And these people see this as their next wave of how they're going to control the population because the population has started to understand and become aware of what we're dealing with with our government. Their solution is to continue to pump these people across, hopefully get them to vote for for their side in replacement of all the minorities that they were trying to get or have gotten traditionally that are now awake. Yeah. Uh, and then also put those people in our police, in our military to enforce whatever they decide they want against our uh, citizenship. So uh, it's very dangerous. And there's other options too. There's other things that could happen too. These people could be part and probably are part of terror networks legitimately um, that could be activated anytime. There's all kinds of disgusting, ter- terrible things mm-hmm. that are happening right now because people uh, have been made to be uh, afraid to be called names for pointing things out. And that's, at the end of the day, that's the problem. People are afraid to say things are right or wrong because they're afraid of getting called f-ing names on the internet for saying them or in person for saying them. So uh, if people don't wake up, we will lose this country, and that's reality. And uh, I think people should really think hard about what that actually means to them and what that will mean. And when I say we lose the country, I don't mean Democrats and Republicans. I don't mean just Republicans. I don't mean, I mean Americans are going to lose the f-ing country to a bunch of f-ing tyrants and a bunch of people that don't belong here and aren't from here. And you can say whatever you want, but they've exhausted that bleeding heart, you know, uh, <clears throat> message you know these are not political refugees these are not these are these are not f-ing families these are not these are f-ing military age men that they're bringing here for a specific purpose that is not in the american people's interest no matter who you vote for and you know i know a lot of people are waking up but dude they've already shuffled you know i think the last number i saw was like seven and a half or eight million people across the border since 2020 that's a lot of f-ing people dude a lot of people that's it that's uh, that's enough people to create an entire military of those people. It's enough people to get votes swung a certain way. I mean, yeah. And by the way, they're registering these people to vote when they come across. So, like, I'm tired of the fuckery, dude. I think most people are. I think we're all tired of the fuckery. We're all tired of them just doing whatever they want. This is a small group of powerful people, the media, the, the far left progressive politicians, these big corrupt organizations that are all tied into the World Economic Forum, manipulating our entire globe and our entire world. And unless people rise up against them and resist at every contention point, they're going to get their way. And it's a big problem for everybody else. So, you know, people need to really try to recognize what's happening. This is not just conspiracy. These are coordinated actions taken by some of the most powerful people on the planet to make life and quality of life harder for you uh, and better for them. And that's that's it. That's what it comes down to. And and they tell you that, you know, your local entrepreneur, the rich guy is the f-ing guy doing it. No, he's not. He's in the same boat as you. Like these are these are the richest people in the world doing this. These people are saying they're 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 preaching to you about climate change while they fly 
in private jets to, to Davos every single year and have meetings about these things. Yep. You know, like these are these are people that tell you decency, but then like promote every form of degeneracy known to man and say it's normal. These are people who talk about, you know, democracy, but then in every single action or behavior they have, it represents communism. Because that's what they mean when they say democracy. When they say democracy, they don't mean what you think of democracy. They they mean communism. Yep. So, I mean, there's all these things. You know, they talk about, you know. It's not your way of life. It's their way of life. That's right. That's right. Yep. And you're going to adjust. And you have the CEOs of some of the biggest firms in the whole world saying that they're going to force behavior. They're going to force this behavior through through the companies. Like, dude, it's just, it's fucked up, man. So, guys, tell us what you guys think of this conversation. Jump down in the comments below. Let us know. Hashtag shut it down. And tell us what you guys think. Right, so, with that being said, let's get into our final segment of the show. As always, we have thumbs up or double. And I got a good one for you. Oh, this one's good. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, uh, thumb, thumbs up or dumb as fuck as we bring a headline up and talk about it. They get one of those two options. So, that being said, our thumbs up or dumb as fuck headline reads, science's claim they have had a 20-minute conversation with a whale and say it could pave the way for conversations with aliens someday. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear this. <laughs> so it might sound like a scene out of, out of Avatar too, but scientists claim it's now possible to have a conversation with a whale following a 20-minute chat with a humpback whale in southeast Alaska. A 38-year-old whale named Twain spoke, quote-unquote, first Twain. <laughs> How they name him Twain, man? <laughs> Y'all got some Creole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's his dad? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Bro, I think they mean Mark Twain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, said, bro, I know fucking, I know Twain, bro, I know a Twain. <laughs> all right, all right, man, let's just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tw so, so Twain <laughs> spoke with the researchers from the SETI Institute and UC Davis by responding to a pre-recorded contact call. Uh, this marks the first communication between humans and whales in their own language, according to the team. Looking ahead, the researchers say the conversation could pave the way for interactions with aliens in the future. Um, in the study, researchers from SETI studied how whales communicate in the hopes of developing intelligence filters as part of, of the search for alien life. The scientists broadcast a type of greeting call called a whoop throp uh, through underwater speakers. Uh, when the call was played through the water, Twain approached the boat and responded with a greeting call of her own. Importantly, the scientists found that Twain was changing the frequency of her own calls in response to the researchers' broadcast. Um, here's the uh, here's the audio. translate for you oh yeah <laughs> what's it say y'all got some creole <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah man listen my my th this is my thing all right if we're gonna be doing some technology let's do some useful shit all right like dogs yeah like i want to talk who the f nobody's talking to whales bro i ain't talking to whales yeah i want to talk to fucking, you know max yeah right yeah like nobody gives a shit, bro. Like, whales, man. Well, I'm listen. I, like whales are cool, but like I'm not trying to talk to them, bro. I'd rather talk to dogs. First of all, <laughs> how do they know what the fuck it's saying? <laughs> I just told you what. I just told you what it said, Andy. I know, but like I'm just saying, like it's like these ghost shows, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Like the, all these ghost shows that are like, yeah, this this is what it means when it does this. Like, how like, the how, f do you know that? How do you know, yeah. How do you know that? Like, yeah. typically spirits do this. How do you know that? Is there a <laughs> spirit school that you know I don't know about? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spirits. Like crazy. you're like I like the ghost shows because some of them like they got some really crazy shit on them. Mm-hmm. But like most of the time, these little experts they plug in to try and talk about it. I'm like, dude, what, you don't know any more shit than we know. <laughs> like you don't fucking know shit. And they're like, oh yeah, typically, you know, what you really do is this and this and this, and this is how they respond. And if you do this, it'll attach itself to it, your underwear, and bro, you can't get rid of it. It's bro, like, dude, shut the f- up. The whales in the water, like, what the f- are they playing, bro? Like, they're not like, they're not even speaking whale back. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I imagine being one of the whales. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're in the water, and all of a sudden, f- and you start hearing somebody talking to you. He's probably going back to the other whales, and they're being like, dude, you're f- crazy. Like you need, you belong in an insane asylum. You heard some voices. Yeah, yeah. You hear fucking voices. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You know, these are first of all. Then these are these. these also, th- this is exactly what I would imagine. Is that is these are these are the experts? Yep. Yeah. This is exactly what I'd imagine, bro. Imagine talking about this all day oh, long. Fuck. You know, and they this love be- it. no, hold on, and this being your only fucking thing you talk about. What'd you do today? Can, I dropped the speaker in the water, man. I, th- I turned on the whoop I, thurp. I turned on the whoop thump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. this whale came over. We had a full blown conversation, dude. Yeah, it was amazing. Said he's looking for his father. <laughs> he said, "Where's the krill?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, whatever, I just man. think I, I, we probably could pay those motherfuckers with our fucking tax dollars too yeah, that's the i problem. guarantee you there's some, some grant, grant. Yes. yes there's some grant yeah, that's this going is, this is what people get to do bro to communicate they get to come up with some bullshit they get to go pretend like they give a f- they get to go out on a boat all day and f- watch the whales and smoke weed and then f- can get money for it he from us he definitely gets high yeah he's high right now dude <laughs> that motherfucker's perma high that guy smokes so much weed he's never not high f- look at him dude <laughs> you know i'm just saying like these that's oh, the man. that's they're gaming the system dude yeah they're, it's a game yeah and then they get to act all virtuous and yeah like, oh, i do I'm work that really doctor. i do work that really matters yeah. you know those <laughs> plastic straws i got rid of them you know what i'm saying yeah, no shit like jesus christ man yeah i think I, I'm, I'm gonna go dumb as fuck on this one yeah i don't like it either yeah i just don't like the people who do this shit <laughs> Like, I don't like the people who, like, game the system to pretend like they're doing something that matters and they're going to fucking solve these massive problems in society yep. on our fucking tax dollars. Like, dude. these will be the re- these people will be the reason why we can't bring Bluetooth speakers to fucking beaches anymore. Who knows? Somewhere down the line. Yeah. It's coming. Whatever. No. That was... Yep. All right. Well, guys, Andy, that's all I got. All right. Don't be a hoe. Another show.